Transferring songs from a CD to your computer is known as ripping a CD. To rip a CD, first insert a CD into your disk drive. The songs show up in the list pane. If the tracks are unnamed, make sure your computer is connected to the internet and that you've turned on the option to automatically find song info. From the iTunes menu, choose Preferences on a Mac. On a PC, choose Edit, then Preferences. On the General tab, check the option labeled Automatically Retrieve CD Track Names from Internet. As long as the album is in the online database, iTunes finds the track information for you and fills it in. If at first iTunes doesn't succeed, you've got some other options. Try ejecting and reinserting the disc. Or you can choose Advanced and select Get CD Track Names. If you're not connected to the internet, or if your album simply isn't in the database, you can enter the track information yourself by selecting the track name and typing it in. Most of the time you'll rip the entire CD to iTunes, but you don't actually have to rip every song. If you like, you can uncheck the boxes next to the songs you don't want to import. iTunes imports only the songs that have check marks. When you're all set, click the Import CD button. The status display shows the progress as iTunes rips the CD. To cancel, click the small X next to the progress bar. You'll see an orange animated waveform icon next to the song that's importing. As iTunes finishes with each song, the waveform icon is replaced by a check mark. iTunes chimes when it finishes your import list. After all the songs are imported, you can eject the CD by clicking the eject button. That's it! Now all you have to do is test your songs to make sure they play right in iTunes.